ranking the top 10 best Transformers movie villains from worst to best. I can't even lie to you, there's been a lot of really great villains in the Transformers movie franchise, but we gotta get to the bottom of which one is on top. And you can't forget, it's my list, I can't miss. Honorable mention to Blackout for his introductory scene alone. Pretty sure he's the first Transformer we ever see transform in live action. And I'm gonna throw his twin grinder up in there too. After seeing some of these comments, I might need a grinder. <laughs> Until Prime made him two-faced. <laughs> gotta mention Berserker because I think this is the first Transformer ever put into a straight jacket. <laughs> the Joker of Decepticons. When Megatron asked the government if he could have him, they said no, and he said, you know what, you're probably right. You know how crazy you gotta be for Megatron to be like, you know what, I am going a little overboard. <laughs> Finally, I gotta mention Devastator, even though I was a little disappointed with him. Still a pretty cool design, but bro was really out there freeballing it. <laughs> I'm beneath the enemy scrotum. <laughs> One man! <laughs> Kicking out the list, I got Soundwave. When they teased him in Revenge of the Fallen as just a satellite, I was like, man, you can't just put the tip in. I need the whole thing. Yo! But then we got that full reveal. The car, elegant. The design, sleek. The voice, mwah. And they even included his little freaky ass pets. Next up, I got the slice of piece version of Starscream. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck. He's cool, but they fumbled the bag. Starscream in G1 is such a G, funny enough. But here they just relegate him to a side character. And they really just have him on hands and knees for Megatron. He's really Megatron's little bitch. He got Megatron sparks so far down his throat. That's why his voice sounds like that. I live to serve you, Lord Megatron. How you gonna get packed up by a human, too? I mean, that is Ladies Man 217, though. From there, I gotta go with the Fallen. Off the design alone, I love how he looks like a pharaoh. I mean, just look how menacing he is. And he's got those little telekinetic powers and shit. Not to mention, he's a fucking prime. He's so menacing, he made Megatron his bitch, which makes Starscream his grand bitch. <laughs> but I just hate how fast he gets packed up. And next up, I got Barricade. I don't care if you call it nostalgia, I just think his design is tough. To punish and enslave instead of protect and serve? <laughs> now that's really deceptive. Even though it kind of gives away that you're a Decepticon. And I mean, this scene is just engraved in my brain. Are you username Ladies Man 217? Are you username Ladies Man 217? Where is the eBay item 21113? Where are the glasses? I gotta go with Shockwave next just because this design right here, yeah, this design is tough. Two Fs. He's really a one eyed monster. And they decided to get this one eyed monster a bigger one eyed monster. But that whole scene where the skyscraper's collapsing, there was so much more potential for him, but he got packed up real quick by Optimus Prime. But I mean, hey, pfft, that's Prime. From there, I gotta go with Shatter and Dropkick because they actually live up to their name, Decepticons. They're deceptive. <laughs> they trick the humans into believing that they're good. They're really bad cop, worst cop. <laughs> and they're triple changers. They can attack you from the ground and the sky. Ha! <laughs> Plus, I think we can all agree, Angela Bassett. Next up, I gotta go with Scourge. Nah, man, I thought he was cold-blooded. Peter Dinklage really killed this role. Even though he was Unicron's kind of errand boy, he really just does this shit for the love of the game. And game is game. This man was collecting souvenirs. And he packed a Bumblebee and he had me worried for a second. Really took his Autobot logo. Give me that shit back. But in third place, I gotta go with the most iconic Transformers villain of all time in Megatron. Even though he's kind of hit or miss in the franchise. Whichever version you really want. Transformers 1 Megatron, which I think is his most menacing. His Dark of the Moon design is just drip, drip, drip. Swagger, swagger, swagger. He really got that shit on though. I thought Galvatron was alright. And like the way he transformed. And the last night, Megatron was cool too. His voice was top tier. At the end of the day, it's Megatron. Gotta be top three at least, even though he was done a little dirty. But in second place, I got the two time backstabbing mother. Set no prime. I have never felt such betrayal. Can never trust nobody with no damn goatee. He took Ironhide from us. I can't even look at this. Ironhide, no, don't go. I'm gonna tell you, I was shocked in the theater. Ha <laughs> ha. I was praying on that man's downfall. I come before you, humbled and humiliated, to ask you for one thing. I want you to kill Sentinel Prime. Prime was so fed up, he two tapped him. That first one was for Ironhide, that second one was for me. I was cheering, I was clapping, I was standing up and saluting. Really betrayed his own people twice. But to save his own people, his motivation makes sense, man. He's basically the General Zod of the Transformers universe. And look, I get it. Wanting your people to be on top is cool, but uh, wanting a genocide? But hands down, for me personally, without question, stop playing with a man. Lockdown is the greatest Transformers movie villain of all time. Off the design alone, and I love how he doesn't pledge allegiance to any side. <laughs> this man is a businessman at the end of the day, and I respect a businessman. He really just wants his money. They gave him his iconic hook. This man got a literal face gun, which is still fucking crazy. Nice little wink and nod to Megatron's G1 design. He packed up Ratchet, but I can't help but respect it, man. This is a man about his money. He said, look, run me my money. I'll do whatever needs to be done. Also packed up Prime, and the only reason he lost was because he got a little too cocky at the end. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought he was him too. I was low-key rooting for him at the end, but that's why he's number one. Acknowledge him.